Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video on Google Apps Script Tutorial and in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, the if statement and if statement is one of the basic condition logic in any programming language and now we are going to discuss about if and if else and if else if statement in Google Apps Script. If you already know JavaScript then uh, this um, Google Apps Script if statement works in a similar way. It will be quite easy for you. So let's begin. Go to Tools and Script Editor. Let's name this project as if statements. Click on the rename. And let me uh, create the function name as if else statements or something. So normally if is used to check the condition is true or not. Let's create a variable with a is equal to uh, 25 and assume that uh, you want to check the value a is greater than 40 or not. So you have to uh, use an if statement and here you have to check the condition using the variable name a is greater than 40 or not. Let me add a logger.log here. So it will first assign the value 35 to the variable a and inside the if condition it will check 35 is greater than 40. If this 35 is greater than 40 then it will enter into this block otherwise it just come to this block and start executing the line which present after this. For example now let's execute this one save the script and click on the run and if you look at the result it just print the last line it didn't print a is greater than 40 because the condition is false and the compiler not even enter into this loop and if you want to check the remaining cases for example here we check what happens here we are checking the condition a is greater than 40 so what is that a is lesser than or equal to 40 and if you want to handle that then in that case you need to make use of the else block so just type else and create opening and curly braces, opening and closing curly braces. A is lesser than or equal to 40. So now if you execute that, it will print the statement A is lesser than or equal to 40 because this condition is false. So it simply execute the else condition and finally print the last line. So this is about if else and there is a uh, one more statement called if else if and else block. Let's assume that you want to check multiple condition. So if a is greater than 40, you want to print a is greater than 40 here. Else if, if you want to check one more condition, a is greater than 100 and you want to print a is greater than 100. In all other cases, the else block will get executed. And here there is a check because it will the compiler will go one by one. First, it will check A is greater than 40. So 90 is if I put 90 here, it is always greater than 40, so it will get executed. And this condition won't even execute it because this itself returned true. So there is a no necessity to enter here and check whether a is greater than or 100. And in this case, you have to rearrange the condition. First, you have to check whether a is greater than 100. And then you have to check a is greater than 40 then you should use an else block. So this is a proper way of checking the condition because the compiler will go from top to bottom and if any of the condition match, it just execute that particular block and come to the last line. So this is how the if else if um, statement work. So let me execute this function. So here it first check a is greater than 100 Okay, I mistype uh, the log here. Let me rename that to make it more sense and re-execute this. So first, 
it will check a is greater than 100 and the 90 is not greater than 100 so it enter into the second condition checking 90 is greater than 40 it is true so just print the um, statement a is greater than 40 and come back to the last line so let me change that to 190 and in this case the first condition become true so it execute this particular block and print the last line and now if I change it back to 10 so it will print a is lesser than or equal to 40 last line because a is 10 the first condition uh, return false so it won't enter into this block and the second condition is also false so it won't enter into this block and the else is by default it will get executed by default if none of the condition matches so just print this line and came to the last line so this is how the if else statement works on google app script and that's it for this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye